Hey YouTube, I've got my absentee ballot. Yay, I'm gonna tell you how I got this. Here's the deal, I'm living in Taiwan. I've been overseas for, you know, a while. And I went down to the not embassy because Jimmy Carter thinks that Taiwan's not a country, probably with pressure from China. And so because of that, the U.S. doesn't have an embassy in Taiwan. They have a not embassy or sometimes they call it a de facto embassy in the news when they re-educate people in every single article about Taiwan, telling people again how Taiwan works. So I went down to the not embassy where it has all the government officials. You do passports, you do visas, you do marriage, you all got, you know, kinds of adoption, all kinds of stuff. So I went down to the not embassy in Taiwan and I looked at the little section on how to vote overseas. And there's a mini library there. I opened up one of the books and read the section on Michigan. I still don't remember what I read. I didn't understand any of it. They actually offer classes. Like you can go to like a weekend class on like how to vote overseas. It's like, why make this complicated? Just watch Jesse's video on YouTube on how to vote overseas. So I'm going to tell you how I got this. Now, one, I'm registered to vote. Now, there's this nice little voting law. Okay. You've got to have a photo ID in order to vote. Now you're, you're at least in Michigan, the, your photo, your, your state ID has to match the precinct that you're registered to vote in. So the address on your driver's license, for example, okay. Your state ID has to be the place you're registered to vote for that precinct. Okay. That voting precinct. So, um, now I like this law because here I'm overseas. There's no question that I am who I am. I, I don't have any problem proving who I am, where I am, where I'm registered to vote. I don't have to get my, I do not need to get my little voter registration stub. I, I don't have to provide anything else. My state ID says where I can vote. That's really nice. Uh, I could talk about state ID voting and why that's a good idea. I could also talk about uh, the problems of voting overseas. I'm going to do that in another video maybe. But I'm registered to vote and my state ID is there, registered to vote. I've got a precinct, I'm registered to vote. Two, I have physically gone there and voted in an election in the past. I've driven there, walked there, whatever, gone to the booth and voted there in the past. Okay, that had, that, okay. Three, Google is your friend, kind of. Just find the form to request one of these. It's an absentee ballot request. Okay, it's, it's a simple form. It's per state. It's from the state. And then you fill in the information about your voting precinct. It, it helps to know what county and township and section of the township you live in. That's like a good thing. Like you should know your section. Um, so uh, if you don't know the section of your township that you live in, you should find out. Good idea. So uh, yeah, fill out the information. Okay. And then any immediate family member, in-law, or someone who's... Res state ID residence, like their formal residence is at your formal residence where you're registered to vote, even house household. So they may not be family member, but they like, they live there. Anyone connected could be immediate family member from another address, but immediate family member in law or someone living at the same address as you in your registered to vote can take that form, the, re the form to request one of these into the county clerk's office of the county where the voting uh, is, you know, the voting, the voting county. All right. So again, registered to vote, have voted at that precinct in the voting place in the booth, physically gone there in person in the past, at least once. Three, get the online form, simple form from the state to request one of these Four, household or immediate family member from that address can take it to the county clerk, take that form to the county clerk's office. Do that about a month before the election. And then just, just at the last minute, the last possible minute, they will mail this to that voting address. So my mother did this. That was so nice of her. My sister could have done it also. They get this, mailed it to me. She slapped a label on it, mailed it to me. And here it is. Let's open it. I've, I've not even opened it. We're going to see what's inside. Okay, there we are. And then uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh. Okay. Uh, now, uh, official. Oh. Oh, it's got. Uh, there it is. It's got the address. There we are. 
Okay, so I've got uh, this is this is a special official thing, and uh, whoa, what's what's what all is, what all is in here? Uh, secrecy envelope. Whoa, <laughs> see what's in here? Uh, this is a red thing. Okay, ballot marking instructions. Um, I took tests in college. I don't need. I don't need that. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, official, wait, wait, hold on. Am I supposed to use a number two pencil? Uh, let's see here. Completely mark the oval opposite each other. Mark your color blind. Uh, use only black or blue pen. Do not use any other ink color. Oh, okay, so I can use ink. Well, that's nice. Uh, partisan section. Vote partisan on your ballot. You may cast a mixed ticket. Uh, mixed ticket. For the individual candidates of your choice in each office. Oh, okay. Nonpartisan. Do not vote for more candidates than indicated uh, write-in candidates. Ooh. Check both sides of the ballot. The ballot has two sides. When you have completed voting, place the ballot in the secrecy sleeve. Ooh. Uh, note, if you make a mistake, return your ballot to the election official and obtain a new ballot. Do not attempt to... Okay. Like, I don't know where I'm going to vote. Okay, so, uh, let's see, uh, clerk's use, uh, official board of persons, uh, okay, okay, uh, yay, that's, yay, uh, it's a val, please do not, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, so here's my absentee ballot, isn't that fun, there it is. Uh, my absentee ballot. Let's see. Um, punt. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no. Donald Trump isn't on here yet. It's not one of those elections. Okay. Um, uh, Tyler Thompson for district judge. Oh, that's my buddy from high school. I'm going to vote for him. There's not anybody else to vote for. Hold on. I need a monster. Mm. Mm. I need a, are you kidding me, Tyler? You're really running for judge. Okay. Uh, mm, let's see. Uh, marker. Will this work? I as well. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. Let's see. I think I've got. This is my uh, comic marker. Uh, my my comic. Okay, Tyler Thompson, judge approach. So Tyler, I'm voting for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. The, oh, no, I dropped the secrecy sleeve. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who else we have? Local school board. Uh, vote for not more than three. Uh, Jamie Eichenberg. Well, I like the Eichenbergs. Um, Vote for not more than three. Local school district. Okay, that's where my, that's where I went to school. Um, okay, Eichenberg. I like them. Uh, Stephen Sailor. Uh, you spelled Sailor wrong. Book Walter. Well, my dad's name was Walter, and I like books. Uh, Mund. That sounds like a terrible name. Probably a good person. Good people tend to have bad names. Uh, let's see. I don't know. A board member. Uh, Craig Goodman. Uh, probably not. Ne ne never trust someone whose name is Goodman. Um, I, 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 I don't know these people, and I'm not going to vote for them. There's only one there. I'll vote for Tyler because I know him. He's my high school buddy. Um, so, so I, well, I guess there it is. Tyler cannot be my judge because he knows me. He'd have to acquit himself. He'd, he'd have to do the Jeff Sessions thing. Uh, should, oh, oh, a proposal. A propo oh, I'm not writing with my marker, so I have to cap my marker. Always, this is a marker, not a normal pen. Uh, okay, always cap the marker when you're not... How are we? We're nine minutes. Okay. The proposed constitutional amendment to establish a commission of citizens with exclusive authority to adopt district boundaries for the Michigan Senate... A proposal the Constitution Congress every 10 years. This proposal... Oh, this proposed constitutional amendment would... Create a commission of 13 registered voters randomly selected by the Secretary of State, four each who self-identify as affiliated with two major political parties, and five who self-identify as unaffiliated with major political parties. Prohibit partisan office holders and candidates employees certain from serving as commissioners. 
Um, establish new redistricting criteria, including geographically compact and contiguous uh, districts of equal population, reflecting Michigan's diverse population and communities of interest. Districts shall not provide disproportionate advantage for political parties or candidates. Mm, yeah, okay, so they're not, they're dogging at gerrymandering. Uh, you know, they're making it more difficult to tamper with elections. Require an appropriation of funds for commission operations. Conversation. Uh, should this proposal be up? Randomly selected by the Secretary of State? I don't know. I, I don't... This proposal would... An amendment would... Uh, randomly selected by the Secretary of State. I don't like that. I don't... I don't... Uh, yeah, randomly selected by the Secretary... No, the Secretary of State. So the Secretary of State, we're supposed to trust that the Secretary of State, one person who was put in office, is going to properly and fairly randomly choose 13 people that he doesn't know? Yeah, right. No, I'm not going to do that. I want Congress to oversee it. I don't want the Secretary of State to have that power. See, this, this is how this, this is how this, this is a sneaky law. I don't like it. I don't, I, I, if Republicans made this law, then shame on them. I don't like this law. Because here, they've got all this stuff. They've got all these different people registered and they identify, they, they claim, which means they can lie, that, that they're, they're part of a political party. Others, they claim, which they can lie, that they're not part of a political party. I mean, hi, I have no opinion. Then why tell me? Okay, you know, yeah, right. So all these people can lie about this and one person is going to randomly choose. How do we know that it's random? What device is in place to make sure that... No, no way. I'm not going to have one person, Secretary of State, randomly without any method, absolutely dictating a bunch of people who can lie about something with no verification. I, 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 they should be registered to vote or registered as independents or they should cast open ballots like they can show what... They, like prove like they have to vote publicly. We have to see their, like, they have to vote, and the public has to know what they've been voting on. Like, there's a lot of non-transparency. It looks on the surface like there's all these different people, but look, it goes back to the Secretary of State, and they self-identify, which means they could be lying, and there's no way to check that. No, I'm not voting for this. It's too much power, and it's too much ability to lie, and it's too much power in one person's hands. That's just, that's asking for corruption. It's not that I hate certain people or whatever, it's just, it's asking for corruption. Okay, um... See, this, uh, okay, proposal, a proposal institute law to authorize and legal, now you, you, when you vote, you got to read these things. This is part of responsible voting. So I didn't see this before. I got to read this. A proposed uh, initiated law to authorize and legalize possession and use a cultivation of marijuana product for individuals who are at least 21 years of age, should be 18. I don't know, maybe, you know, college is a thing. Yeah, finish college. You know, that's a thing. That's a thing. 21 is good maybe because you should finish college in your last year in college. They should, um, if we're going to keep these law limits, there needs to be like regular tests uh, while you're going to college. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's like you should be able to drink and smoke and all that when you're 18. 21 would be for college, but they don't enforce it. It's a, that's a, I'll talk about that later. Uh, so marijuana... Uh, look, I'm in favor of, I, I don't, I, 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 no, I've never smoked marijuana. I am not interested in smoking marijuana and, um, I don't like what I see happening to people that smoke marijuana, but I think marijuana should be legal. Um, so I, I, I'm not legal. I, I, I don't, I'm not in favor of legalizing marijuana because I like it. I think that it's good for society because I think objectively like that. I don't try to make the whole world do what I like. So I, I don't like marijuana, but I think it should be legal. So right here, uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Uh, great state licensing system for marijuana businesses allow municipalities to ban. Oh, yes. Municipalities to ban or restrict them. Yes. A local city should say, no, marijuana is a, tr a problem for us locally here. We don't want it here. They should be able to decide that. That's a good, that's the People's Party. My book, The People's Party. I've written a book called The People's Party. I talk about the locals being able to make their own choice. Uh, impose a 10 ounce limit for marijuana kept at a residence and require amounts uh, over 2.5 ounces uh, to be secured in locked containers. Um, that's not gonna last. 
but they're trying in the beginning they're trying to keep it under control which is smart that's the way to do it uh it's introducing an, a change so um permit retail sales of marijuana and establish the subject 10 percent tax dedicated implementation costs clinical trials schools road manipulated where marijuana business located yup uh change uh several current violations uh for um from crime to civil infractions yeah so other places if you um yeah in an other marijuana law it's not as bad of a crime if you break stuff that this doesn't make illegal. Okay, I'm going to vote yes for this. Uh, that looks good to me. Yes. Okay. So there, I just voted yes. Okay. Oh, well, let's see. Proposal 18.3. A proposal to authorize automatic and election day voter registration. Ooh, this is about me. No, no reason absentee ballot. Yeah. Okay. So you can do absentee voting for no reason to propose authorized automatic and election day voter registration, no reason absentee ballot, a straight ticket voting, add current legal requirements for military and overseas voting and post-election audits. Oh, uh, add current, add current legal requirements. Then no, you don't even add, they're current. Add current, what? The, I don't know what that means. For military and overseas um, and add current, what is it? And post-election audits, oh, to the Michigan Constitution. Okay, so current legal requirements, it's already the law, but we're going to make it part of the Constitution. Okay, all right, yeah, make it Constitution. Making things constitutional law is hard for both for either political party to change. So, see, this is something, all the, all the Obama voters, like they voted for Ob Obama was their first election, they don't get this. When the other guy comes into office... He's going to do to you all the stuff that you were doing to them. When you, you know, the Democrats were in charge doing things to Republicans. Well, the Republicans are coming. They're, people are going to get mad. You're going to get comfortable, fat, and lazy. And the Republicans are going to come back, put their guy in office, and he's going to do it back to you. And so the, the people use the politicians to be mean to each other. Hi, I'm a Democrat. I'm going to vote for my Democrat politician to be mean to you Republicans. Republican. Hi, I'm a Republican. I'm going to vote for my Republican to be mean to you Democrats. That happens. A constitution is a law that's really hard to change, and it stops people from doing that. That's good. So make it part of the constitution. Uh, what is this? This proposed constitution will allow U.S. citizen who is qualified to vote in Michigan to become automatically registered to vote when applying for, updating, or renewing a driver's license, personally registered ID card, unless the person declines. So, driver's license registration is voter registration. Duh, that makes sense. That's just, that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. I didn't even read this. Simultaneous register to vote with proof of residency and obtain a ballot during a two-week period, election day up, uh, two-week period, two, and election day up, election day. Yeah, okay. Obtain an absentee ballot without providing a reason. So, I, I'm voting absentee. Why? Because I want to. I, I don't have to be out of town that when, when I provided, when, when I applied, when I sent in the, the request to get this, this voter ballot, I had to tell them why I was going to be there. So now I can say no reason. I'm, my reason is good. My reason is because I'm not going to be in town that day. I'm not. I'm in, I'm in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, cast a straight ticket vote for all candidates of a particular party when voting in a partisan general election. Uh, should this proposal be adopted? Yes. That's great. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, I, I voted. I voted yes on uh, on a few proposals here. Um, where can you see what I'm voting for? Um, but uh, this this other one, they're trying to stop voter tampering by giving all this power to the Secretary of State to trust people who can lie without having to prove what they're saying is true. See, you gotta be. You gotta watch out for stuff like this. The, 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 the thing is. How many people actually get to decide? See, here you've got it written into the Constitution in Proposal 18.3. But Proposal 18.2, um, it's not in the, con it's, it's, no. It's this one Secretary of State, Democrat, Republican, who knows what, gets to just choose people based on their word. No. No, 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 no. Look at laws and, and don't be deceived. This, on the surface, this seems like we're going to stop vote, you know, like, you know, Congress changing the voting districts so that more Republicans win. Um, no, 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 no. 
Now let's look at the other side and see what we got. Oh no. Uh, how does, oh boy, this looks big. Can I just, can I just vote straight Republican? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to vote for the Republican on this. Um, I'm going to vote for the Republican on this. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to vote Republican. I wrote the people's party and a lot of ideas I like are libertarian, but libertarians are a little bit closer to Republican. If you vote libertarian, Republicans get 30%, libertarians get 10%, then the Democrats get 60% and China invades Taiwan and I die. Uh, not, not, you know, China got to be really, really, really big. Jimmy Carter stepped away from Taiwan, as I said. Reagan was there. He was strong. Clinton, <laughs> he was getting money from Chinese. That was a story was about that anyway, or something like that. Um, Bush was a pansy. Obama, I was here, you know, during the Obama years. All the, almost all the Obama years I was here. China got enormous, incredibly powerful, sort of bullying everybody, and Obama wouldn't do anything. Adam Warmbier, expat, not too far from me, just a little jog up in North Korea, Adam Warmbier, Warmbier, uh, went up and died. Obama did nothing. I did not feel safe under Obama. Trump comes in and he says, no, we've got to do stuff. And, uh, you know, no, you don't like it, have a tissue, but, um, I don't decide what goes on in your country. You don't decide mine. I don't decide what's in your refrigerator. You don't decide what's in my refrigerator. And if you don't like it, take a tissue here, have a tissue here, 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 have, have, have a tissue, a tissue for people that don't like it. And now we're safer. Taiwan is a safer place. China may try to attack Taiwan, but Trump's going to respond. He's not going to be like Obama. Oh, we don't want to make them angry. Let's let Jesse die. Like we let Adam die. Uh, don't like that. Not a fan of what I've seen. I'm concerned for my life with Democrats. I like the Republicans supporting Trump. I really, really like that. And I like what Republicans are doing. So I'm just going to go Republican across the board because I think that's going to help. Now, I'm not going to do this too much in the future. There's a big, 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 big problem. If we get too many Republicans for too long, we get too many Republicans for too long. They become the bad guys. That's, that's, uh, animal farm by George Orwell. So we've got to hurry up and get, I'm voting Republican now in this because I like living. But, um, I'm, uh, I'm not more than one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Secretary of state. Um, one, uh, attorney general, Tom Leonard. Gotta love a man with two first names. I, um, John James. Uh, got, gotta love a man with two first names. <laughs> um, oh, Moulinar, John Moulinar. I love you. I write you. I call you. I annoy you. I love you. I'm voting for you. Uh, uh okay. Republican Rick Outman. Yup, Outman. That's a man who's been persecuted all his life, probably. I don't know. So I, I, I don't know. He's, okay. Um, representative of state legislature, uh, Michelle Hoytenga. That sounds Hispanic. Cool. I love Hispanics. Spicy language, great food. Um, I, you know, I've just, I, I studied Spanish in high school. I, 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 yay. Yay, Hispanics. Um, maybe she's not, but whatever. That would be cool if she was. Uh, more Republicans, Board of Education. Ooh, Board of Education. That's interesting. We're actually, I don't want to talk about it. I have Board of Education experience and, uh, I might be getting more Board of Education experience. Ooh, ooh, ooh. you heard it here. Uh, University of Michigan. Yes. I'll vote Republicans. Uh, as Ronald Reagan said, I hope you're all Republicans. No, Ronald Reagan got shot and, and he went to, um, the hospital. And when he went into the hospital, he, he saw the, um, 
the doctor, he, he woke up in the hospital bed and he looked at everyone. And he said, I hope you're all Republicans. And that was his humor. And then, you know, uh, trustees of Michigan State University. Um, Dave Dutch. Well, if you're not Dutch, you're not much. Um, Mike Miller. Great last name. Send me a free bottle. Um, let's see. Governor of Wayne State University. So Wayne has a, a governor, huh? That's what you're called, governors? Well, okay, I'm going to vote for Republicans there. We, I don't like this Republican stuff. I don't like this. We've got to get the People's Party going, people. We got to get the people. We got to get the People's Party going. Um, County Road Commissioner. Oh, great. Local politics. You know, I, I tell you, I don't, I don't like local politicians. Um, I don't like local politicians. I don't like small town politics. I'd vote against all of them. I, I maybe. But they're all Republicans, as you can see. Look, look at this. This is fun. Look, look at this. Look at this. I want you to look at this. County. Look at my county government voter ballot. Look at this. County government. Where is it? County. <laughs> they're all Republican. <laughs> it's only Republicans here. <laughs> it's just in in Chicago. It's only a Democrat. <laughs> like that was my first election. Chicago was my election hometown. Is where I voted. When my first election was in Chicago because I was a student at Moody, and. Um, and they were only Democrats. It's just, it's funny. It's like, what's the point in voting? Um, judicial, Supreme Court. Um, well, um, I should have done this more, but I'm, uh, okay, no, 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 no. look at this. This is a nonpartisan section. Um, the... They've got members of the Supreme Court here. Um, some are already on the Supreme Court. Some are not. Um, I, I, uh, Megan Kathleen Kavanaugh. I'm going to vote for change. We should have a revolving court. Um, Carrie Lee Morgan. Um, I, I don't know. I'm going to vote for him. I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know these names, but I know that, that, that people in government should change. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish I could research this more. I feel irresponsible, but this is the best I'm doing with what I, what I know. So there we are. Um, I voted for the people that are not on the Supreme Court because I think we should rotate. I don't believe I don't believe in elected politicians for life. Now, appointing if they're appointed for life, okay, but they're not. I vote for them, um, and that's state Supreme Court. Um, and I I voted. So there you have it. I voted for Kavanaugh for Supreme Court. I voted Kavanaugh for Supreme Court. It's not the same Kavanaugh, but it's a Kavanaugh. Uh, well, Judge of the Fourth District, Stephen Borello. Fine. I'll I'll put it in. Um, Scott Hill Kennedy. Huh. I know him. I know his son Seth. Um, and uh, okay people, good okay people. Well, I don't know. Then again, they might be brothers. I don't know. That's, that's interesting. Uh, Schwartzel. All right. I haven't had a problem with local judges, I suppose. All right, there we go. Uh, Supreme Court justice, though, they, they they should change. They should they should they should change. All right, um, there we are. Uh, that's that's my ballot, uh, and that's uh, there. That that's how I voted. I'm sh I'm showing you my vote. I'm I'm not. I mean, I'm you know, I'm not uh, I'm not hyper secret about this. Um, so I'm folding this back up. Um, I'm putting this in the, uh, in the secrecy envelope, uh, so that nobody knows what's, what's on it. Um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, the secrecy envelope. And then, uh, I'm putting this back here into this envelope, uh, here. And, uh. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss the taste of those. They don't have those in Taiwan. I should, I should like get envelopes from the states just to taste them. Remember what they taste like. Uh, okay, and that's it. Now let's see what's this on the back. Um, to be completed only if voter is assigned in voting by another person. Assisting vote. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, the above form must be signed or your vote. Oh, so here. Um, so this. Uh, I've got to sign this. So I'll sign that. Uh, for clerk's use only. That's on the back. So there we go. All right. Well, uh, that's it. And so now you've seen my absentee voter ballot. And you've seen how I vote. Uh, there you go.